calling all parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Are you tired of being told your only options for relief are pills, shots, or risky surgeries? At Restoration Health Acupuncture and Nutrition, we are giving people back their lives. We're improving fertility, reversing the effects of neuropathy, and providing much needed relief from anxiety, chronic pain, autoimmune conditions, long COVID, and much more. Call Restoration Health Acupuncture and get back to living your best life. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service, and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting, your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. Hmm. Oh. homeowners. Get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure, 
Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. I'm fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fastlane? Who else would do it? Buy a car? Trade a car? Finance a car? Have it delivered completely online? This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the Fastlane winner. It's the only way to fly. That's Fastlane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Cortez Disposal is a leader in the solid waste industry. We offer dumpster roll-off containers for residential, commercial, and industrial needs all over New Jersey. We are women-owned and family-operated. Cortez Disposal, where, where your garbage, garbage is, is our life. life. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. DNA Landscaping. We service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties for both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. 
enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com we specialize in roofing and siding that includes gutters windows doors stone siding decks and painting we also utilize new age technology like drones and 3d modeling the drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective and the 3d modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. At the Bees Knees Boutique in Mendham, we believe that our local community of women deserve better than unpredictable online shopping. We offer a fun, personalized shopping experience with quality, affordable brands that we pride ourselves on selecting. Whether you are looking for loungewear, business casual, or an outfit for date night, the Bees Knees has something unique and on trend that you can feel confident in. So grab your daughter or bestie and come in to see what the buzz is all about. Come visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours. This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives.
For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Majestic Flowers and Gifts. Your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Kitchen Art Cabinetry Showroom in Chester is your one-stop shop for designing and remodeling your home's kitchen, and we are now offering an expanded selection of appliances. Come view all the exciting design possibilities displayed at our 5,000 square foot showroom located near ShopRite. See our selection of appliances, cabinets, countertops, flooring, hardware, and more. Financing is available. Our experienced team will help bring your vision to life in our design center. Call Kitchen Art Cabinetry for a free estimate and consultation. Room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Welcome to Deep Wellness Center in Roxbury. We provide preventative and restorative lifelong health solutions and a unique consultative experience, providing essentials for a healthy body both inside and out, using natural methods which allows you to take responsibility for looking and feeling your optimal best. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. At 
at Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop at the Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go-to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Contact Mary Comito for an auto quote today. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or aligners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. Calling all parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating is your one-stop shop for any of your home or business needs. Whether it's plumbing, heating, or water treatment service, Scheibel's has got you covered. In business for over 35 years and located in Hampton, New Jersey, give Scheibel's Plumbing and Heating a call to schedule a service today. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. 
visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Kalani, the, the end zone, it is caught. Charge, great for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score. And that is a base hit. The run will score. And Freshman, pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Welcome to the William G. Menon Sports Arena in Morristown, New Jersey, where it's currently 60 degrees and raining. Our game time temperature is brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. Tonight we got a varsity hockey matchup for you with the Gill St. Bernard's Knights and the Paul VI Eagles. This game is sponsored by Gill St. Bernard's. Why choose Gill St. Bernard's? More than just a tagline, our mission to provide a balanced, diverse, and secure community that prepares students academically, socially, and ethically for college and a meaningful life is a living reflection of who we are and the values that inform our daily interactions. Visit gsbschool.org. I'm Brad Shelton, your play-by-play -play announcer, and tonight I'm joined by my partner on camera and color, Peter Fivefoot, and our producer and color, Sean Bretherick. And good evening, Peter. Again, we're we're early here in this 2023-24 season, but as we know, every point counts. Both teams tonight have come out right out of the gate with victories so far this season. Gill had an impressive 7-1 victory yesterday over Park Regional, and the Eagles had a one-goal 5-4 victory on Friday over St. Joe's Metuchen. Give us a little insight as to uh, what we can expect from these two squads tonight. The Eagles are a bit of a more physical team. They do have speed and they kind of ran into a very good team in St. Joseph of Touchin and barreled them down. Although Gil does not know them well, that's what they want to do. They want to have the physicality. It is a pretty big game when it comes to that. On the other side, the Knights, as here saw and broadcasted them last night, what a 24 hours for them. They came off a tremendous 7-1 win where they had to kill a five on four a five on three, a four on three, then had a five minute major power play where they scored two goals and scored three shorthanded to boot with a 7-1 victory over Park Regional. They're flying high, their goaltender has played absolutely wonderful for the Knights, but back at it again, it's a new slate against a very good Paul VI team. Yeah, and Paul VI traveling up north for this game tonight before they head back down south for the start of the school week. And let's talk about our goaltenders tonight. Our goaltender matchup for the Knights is gonna be number 35, Luke Jansen, the sophomore goaltender. And for the Eagles, it'll be number 33, Luciano Lasanti, also a sophomore goaltender. So a matchup of sophomore goalies here tonight, Peter. Well, Luke Jansen was nothing short of flawless last night. He was the player of the game. He made so many saves in that game. He was the number one freshman goaltender last year. And on the other side, it, the Eagles have a great goaltending tandem as well, a great goaltender. This is going to be a goaltending matchup. I'm a team that four checks the best, hits the most, makes the most saves, and wills the other team out is the one that will be picking up the points and, most importantly, the win. Well, thank you, Peter, for that fantastic insight. Once again, we are live here on Morris Sussex Sports on YouTube. This is Morris Sussex Sports. We provide great commentary, replays, and all the fanfare for your team's momentous occasions. Book us for senior nights, milestones, and more. Click the link in the description below to request a booking date, then fill out the form to get on our schedule. And viewers, remember to hit that notification bell so you never miss when we go live to the channel. And athletes and sponsors, Morris Sussex Sports publishes trading cards to recognize our student athletes 
with the help of businesses that sponsor us. Our objective is to create a card for every athlete free of charge. Sponsors and athletes looking to be featured can fill out the form on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And we're going to get set for the first period here between the Knights and the Eagles in just a minute. <clears throat> also, I'd like to bring up Brock Eichler Injury Lawyers. We have a 20-year history of maintaining a high success rate with our top-rated lawyers having won over $425 million for clients across the Garden State. Our compassionate personal injury lawyers use experience and expertise to deliver top-quality results while excelling at client care. Be sure to call us. Free consultations. 973-281-4394 or visit the website at njlawresults.com. Well, Peter, any uh, any additional notes you want to hit us up with here before we get, uh, we get well, the puck I'll say drop. this. I'll say this. Defensively, there isn't a defense that can pinch and hit the way that the Knights can. I haven't seen too much of Paul the Sixth, but you've looked at their numbers and you've seen how they've played. Again, a physical team that also likes to hit, but they are more of a speedy hockey club. Here's the number one thing. Team that plays their game will win this hockey game. And the Knights looked wonderful last night, and they play in, you know, they play in an absolute house of a division, Sean. That is a tough division those teams play in. So it's going to be battle for every single game for Gil St. Bernard's here. The Haas is, I think, as wide open as it's ever been. And I think the game that you saw um, last night, the result that Gil St. Bernard's got against Park, who I chose to win the division, it's to win to win the cup there, uh, is impressive to say the very least. So um, GSB, GSB really um, making their point. And they wanted to go up against Park because Park's the team that they felt like they had the, the rights to go to the playoffs instead of them last year. Well, and uh, you saw that all coming out on that game. And now here they are 24 hours later playing another one. We'll see how they react to a very short turnaround. All right, the Eagles controlled the opening draw and got it deep into Gill's zone. They're able to bring it out. The Eagles will regroup in center ice and shoot it in where it's knocked down by the Knights defense. They'll look to break out. Scarpati is the centerman on this opening line for the Knights. Got Whitley on the wing here. He passes it back to his D-man. That's going to be Henry Smith. Smith's pass was knocked down. He picks it back up. A little sloppy neutral zone play here to kick off the game. And the Knights will regroup again. Deep in their own zone. Circle it back. Porter Clark with the puck, moves it up. Whitley looking for somebody in the middle to break out, wasn't there. Nice pass in front, but it's tipped wide. Good play Eagle. with the blocker there. You're also noticing, Brad, this is just very physical hockey right now. <clears throat> Eagles defense moving it up around his own net, outside. Oh, and it's stolen. It was Michael Ty with the steal. He brings it in deep for the Knights. Passes back to his D-man. Brendan Minder, shot on goal. Blockered away. Rebound is loose. And it's taken away by number 28, Braden Mills, for the Eagles. He moves it to his winger, Nicholas Lento. Circles around. Tries to gain some speed and move it up out of his defensive zone. Pass over to 27. Mason Jones in front. Shot's going to be off the side of the net. And Brendan Binder moves it around. Chipped, but not out. Eagles keep it in. It's gloved down. Got a man on the point. Shot's going to be a save by Jansen. We'll get a whistle. Well, this is what Jansen wants here. He wants to get pucks to him. Wants to be making these saves, really accelerating his progress. And as I was saying, this is just been very physical, grinding hockey. This is exactly how both teams want to play it here. Reverse and Scarpati on the draw. Puck is loose next to the goaltender. Pushed into the corner. Eagles forecheck looking good so far here. Back to the point. We'll dump it in deep. Got a man looking in the slot. Bounces through. 
They're trying hard to win battles here. Win a battle, win a battle, and get the puck right in front. Eagles in control again behind the net, looking in front. It's knocked away by the defense of the Knights. The Eagles regain possession. Again, trying to filter it right down into that slot. That's got to be Plumley. Yeah, looked like number 90 Joey Plumley bringing it to net. Nice save by Jansen. They're trying. On a versa, sorry. Absolutely, no. They're trying to force rebounds on Jansen. That's exactly what they're doing. You see how they're just pumping pucks towards him? Yeah, you're not going to get too many of those. They're trying. Uh-huh. Pass in front. Backhander is stopped by Jansen. He gets a whistle. Tough shift there for the Knights on defense basically the whole time. That was but, a good full minute right there. Yeah, but let me ask you this. Brad, does that kid Jansen look like a sophomore to you, the way he's playing in net? No, absolutely not. He's uh, He looks very calm, cool, and collected in there. Most goalies I know, they love pucks at them, so. <laughs> yeah. Especially early in a game. Well, he's getting them. Knights win the draw, go to D to D. And they'll look to break out, go on the attack. Gets past the defenseman. It's going to be a race to the puck here in the Eagles' corner. Number eight, Liberati gets there first. Good four check by the Knights here on this. Looks like Michael Ty in on the four check there. Back up to the point. It'll go D to D over to Porter Clark. Winds up, shot. Ooh, blocked in front. Looked like Brendan Dugan, number 77, took that one in the armpit. Nice hit there on the corner. What a check. And the Eagles will chip it out and chase. Might have enough juice on it for an icing, and it does. I'll bring the face off all the way back into the Eagles zone. 11 minutes to play here in the first period, no score. Well, what Paul the Sixth wanted to do there was exactly what you were mentioning. Chip and chase, win a battle, dump that puck in, and just go after it. But a little bit too much English on that. That'll be Scarpetti and uh, Aversa again on the draw here. It's gonna be won by the Eagles, chipped up, held in at the line. Unable to keep it in, Eagles will move it up. Battling, trying to get through to neutral zone. Mason Jones moves it up to Plumley, And it'll go back around their own net here. Puck's going to be stolen. Some good corner battle so far here. Oh, we have a man breaking. He's looking for Plumley. Plumley's open. He shoots. He scores. Ooh, twisted wrister up over the blocker, Jansen. And it's a one nothing Eagles lead. That was a wonderful snapshot. Just fling right off the stick. And there was nowhere for the goaltender to see where that puck was going. Just curled it and... You know, it could be an Olympic curler the way that that puck just went off the stick. Beautiful, beautiful play. Plumlee was looking for a break there right off the faceoff as well. Puck didn't bounce his way. Now the Eagles will go D to D in front of their own net. Able to break out. Nothing doing in the neutral zone. Knights pushing forward here. Oh, nice job by the goaltender. Went goalie to goalie on that play. And a nice clear off the glass and also on that shot again. That was, you can't really teach that the way that the torque of the stick was spun. Puck is dumped in. No icing on the play. Knights will go back, try and set up their breakout. Eagles with the steal. Sharp angle shot is blocked. Behind the net, Eagles maintain control. Pass was too soft and taken by the Knights. And they'll move up potentially three on two. Michael Ty peels off, looks for the man in the slot. He shoots. Oh, it looks like it was deflected just wide. The Eagles will move up and out with speed through center ice. Three men back for the Knights. Good hit along the side wall there by number two, Porter Clark. And he circles back around looking for somebody to pass it to. Protects the puck, circles back. Nice job by Porter Clark of 
protecting the puck there and circling a couple times to help his team break out. Now we got a two-on-one potentially developing here. Scarpati's got the puck, moves it along the half wall, and gets it back, tries to go to the net. Puck is loose behind the net and moved up and out by the Eagles. Out of the zone, number 12, Marciano. Couldn't finish the play. Again, a nice play by Porter Clark. He's having a good first period here. And now we got a potential three on one here for the Knights. Moving in on the left wing to center. Right wing. Oh, he fans on the shot and it goes wide. Oh, I thought he should have had that. That would have been really tough for the goaltender to stop if he was able to put that off the twine. Yeah, Taylor, George Taylor, number 26. He'd like to have that one back. It slid right off of his stick. No doubt. Clark battling in the corner here for possession. Eagles have been hit monsters in this game. They've just been coming after everything. Uh, it has been a physical start to this game. There is no doubt about that. Number eight, John Walker. That's what you like to see. That's hockey. Hit the man with the puck. Try to free it loose. Whitley moves it up but not out. It's kept in. Now it's out. Whitley's got it. Looking to gain the red line. Plumley. Pushes him off the puck, passes it off to his D-man. Moves up through the neutral zone, cross-size pass. Plumlee's got it. He's got a man break into the net, but he lost control just for a second there when he wanted to make the pass. That's the facilitation of a player that can change a hockey yeah. game. A two-way player that can hit, defend, and score like Plumlee. Plumlee with the puck, passes it back behind his own net. Regroup and break out. Knights can't keep it in. Oh, pass through the middle. Plumley picks it off. Strong on the puck, but not strong enough on that one. Play right in the slot here. Puck comes loose. Knights will punch it out into the neutral zone. Oh, Plumley, not a pass he wanted to do. Good blocker save by Lasanti. Pass is a little too strong. Would have been a high stick if he had gotten it on it. No icing call on the play, though. Oh, good by the Eagles to win that race. That's winning races, making battles. And Number 21, Trey Sanford tries to move it out of the zone. He can't. It's still stuck behind the net. Number 12, Marciano had it taken away from him, and the Knights clear the zone. But they are unable to control it, and the Eagles will regroup again. This is pacing. Both these coaches are very happy with the way these teams have paced. Mason Jones continues to circle around. He gets it down low. Looks for his forward. Number 18 sheds a check. Now across to the right point. Back into the middle. Wrist shot saved by Jansen with the glove. 5.34 to play. You know, Sean, I think also Gil St. Bernard is trying to show the entire league that, hey, we can hit and we can play fast and we can also, you know, play physical with any team in the MCC IHL. Yeah, and, well, and they're they're doing it against a, a team that's got some pretty big bodies out there. Uh, Plumlee would be obviously one of them, and you know, they're showing that they're not afraid, and uh, we're not not going to back down from anybody. You can't in that division. No. Eagles control and play here again. Pass out into the slot. Just goes wide on the shot. Yeah, instead of instead of like the other three to other uh, the other divisions, you have to be at least better than two teams to make the playoffs rather than just one. Right. Porter Clark was able to clear the zone for Gill. Plumley now just punches it out into the neutral zone, and Clark punches it right back. Whitley on the four check on Plumley. He circles around now, gains some speed through the neutral zone, stick handling. Wow. Through his legs, oh. maintains possession, Clark on him. Whitley with the puck now. Knights really having trouble breaking out here. They're getting it into the neutral zone, but not being able to gain anything on the attack. Brad, this is a coach's dream, that kind of old style hockey you're more familiar with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely a favorite of mine, this style. Number 16, Wyatt Mercado now brings it in and dumps it deep. What's well, the type of hockey that gets you prepared for the playoffs? This is playoff hockey right here. 
Got to love playoff hockey early in the season, Peter. You're not trying to dangle through guys, just playing good hockey. No, Mills' shot goes wide. Puck's moved into the corner. Knights will move it up to the centerman. Nice job of stepping up there yep. by number 91, Joey DeFabritis. And we'll have an icing, a stoppage of play with 3.47 to go and a one nothing lead for the Eagles. And how many times do we see teams play that east-west style in the regular season trying to deke through a phone booth and then you get to the playoffs and you do that once and you're laying on your head? Like, this is the type of hockey that wins your championships right here. <coughs> Off the draw, it's shot forward by Michael Ty. Wide of the net. Eagles control behind. But they lose it. Another shot on goal. And it's stopped by Lasanti, and we'll get a whistle. And a face-off to his right. Lasanti's played well, hugging his posts. And, you know, a goaltender that hasn't really had to move much, but... There have been some quality shots here, Sean, by Gil St. Bernard's, and nothing doing on that goaltender. Nah, and um, they, you know, they're going back and forth with two goaltenders. They had Lennox the other time, but. Chipped out in front. Loose puck in the slot, controlled by the Eagles now. And we got a one-on-one, -on -one, two on one develop, and Plumlee is the trailer. Can't uh. get it across him, but he gets it anyway. No, it's no goal. Nice job on the clear by the D-man. Porter Clark. He was all over the play on that one. He's playing fantastic here in this first period, I got to say. You got to keep in mind, though, the way that Paul the Six is playing offensively when they bring the puck back up, this is only going to, it's only going to become more of an easier and easier route for them to get more odd man rushes. Look out. Clark has a puck stolen and a good save by Jansen. Luckily, you have Jansen. He's the energizer bunny out back there, but. Uh, you talk about wearing a team down. This is a team that only played that played 24 hours ago, where yeah. Paul the Six at least had an extra day to at least to at least rest the legs a little bit. You uh, yeah, you also need more out of Porter Clark. He was a phenom yesterday against Park Regional. He's going to have to be a real big player in this game. Eagles control the draw. Shot out from the point is blocked by number 10 Brandon Binder. Eagles keep it out. It's loose along the half wall. Scarpati able to move it out into neutral ice. Oh. We got a penalty coming up here for a slash to the Eagles. Yeah, Scarpati's uh, stick kind of went flying out of his hands. Usually there's only one reason for that. Usually. <laughs> yeah, Brad, I saw the stick flying from up here. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be number 18, Nicholas Lento, going to the box for the slash. Lento almost broke a stick on the penalty box. He was not happy about that penalty. I think it was a pretty clear-cut call, though. Always trust those. Porter Clark gets a puck back. Sorry about that, Peter. No, always trust those in stripes. You know that. <laughs> Personal experience. Yep. It's the right call no matter what because they made the call. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or look the other one, you're always making a, the call's always wrong because somebody's mad at you. Yeah. Shot by Scarpetti, does not get through. Back to the point, Clark able to maintain possession. Scarpetti now has got it. Looking to set up the power play. Winds up, slap shot is saved. Oh. It looks like it's loose, it's still loose, but the referee seems to have lost side of the puck and that'll be blown dead for a faceoff. Well, the referee said that the puck was in the glove <laughs> the whole time, but yeah, that was a bang at right there. And this is what you got to do. I talked to the coaching staff of the Knights. They're saying we have been working more than we've ever worked on the power play. It's such important for us. Knights able to maintain possession off the draw. Once again, looking to set up that power play. They'll set it up from behind the net here. Scarpati now, top of the circle. Drops it for Clark, skates in, lets the wrist shot go. It's deflected into the netting above the glass, and we'll get a whistle and a stoppage in play. 131 to go here in the first. 104 left in the minor penalty to Lento. You need clean faceoffs here if you're Gil St. Bernard's, especially on the power play. They've been working on this man advantage so much. 
This is an ice that is very good for fluid draws. Nice win on the draw by Michael Ty. Moves around behind the net. Passes it back. Looks like Whiteley. Out to the point to Clark. Fires a snapshot and a good glove save that was dropped. And the Eagles are able to clear. Plumley hustling down on the forecheck. Takes out Clark. Looking for the puck. I think it's under Clark. It is. Plumley killing time on this penalty, though. Great job of forechecking there. Whiteley bringing it up. Headman's the puck. Ah, that makes sense. Don't mind me. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where this Plumley guy plays. Okay. Elsewhere. Yeah, Plum I figured it out. Plumley loses his footing. Yeah. Was it the Rockets, Sean? No, he, he's a Triple A, eighteen U Triple A, Valley Forge Minutemen. Decent organization there. Whiteley centers it in front, and it's actually padded away by Lasanti. Nice job. Great kill. And brought up ice by the Eagles. Looking for a man. He's got one. Shot right into the stomach of Jansen. I would like to sh second Sean. Here with 13 seconds left in the first. The reason that they're still playing the way that they're playing, and it's only a one nothing contest, is because of that goaltender. Jansen's been unbelievable so far in this first period. That he has. I, I got, you know, majority of the play has been in front of him this first period. The Eagles control the draw. Back to the point. Now back in. Oh, great centering feed. Oh, and a beautiful kick save <laughs> by Jansen. Kick uh. save and a beaut, indeed. <laughs> Huge save by Jansen with about six seconds left on the clock to keep it a one-goal game at the end of the first period. Here, give it a quick look before we take the break. Here, look at that again. That was a great tic-tac-toe passing as well. Man, oh, man, look oh, at that. Picking, oh, picking that my out. goodness. <laughs> oh, getting... What an approach to save with the toe. That is such an athletic play there, Brad. That is, that was a fantastic save by Jansen. And we got to see it right here live on Morris Sussex Sports on YouTube. Thanks for joining us tonight. At the end of one, Paul the Six leads 1-0 over Gil St. Bernard's. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence Award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Montella Inc. is a family owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Are you tired of being told your only options for relief are pills, shots, or risky surgeries? At Restoration Health Acupuncture and Nutrition, we are giving people back their lives. We're improving fertility, reversing the effects of neuropathy, and providing much needed relief from anxiety, chronic pain, autoimmune conditions, long COVID, and much more. Call Restoration Health Acupuncture and get back to living your best life. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting, your trusted partner for all your home needs. 
For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. Hmm. Attention homeowners, get ready to meet Brandy Brogen of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brogen today. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brad. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car? Trade a car? Finance a car? Have it delivered completely online? This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? Get the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Choosing a college is a big, big big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Cortez Disposal is a leader in the solid waste industry. We offer dumpster roll-off containers for residential, commercial, and industrial needs all over New Jersey. We are women-owned and family-operated. Cortez Disposal, where, where your, your garbage, garbage is, is our life. life.
Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. DNA Landscaping. We service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties for both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com we specialize in roofing and siding that includes gutters windows doors stone siding decks and painting we also utilize new age technology like drones and 3d modeling the drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective and the 3d modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. At the Bees Knees Boutique in Mendham, we believe that our local community of women deserve better than unpredictable online shopping. We offer a fun, personalized shopping experience with quality, affordable brands that we pride ourselves on selecting. Whether you are looking for loungewear, business casual, or an outfit for date night, the Bees Knees has something unique and on trend that you can feel confident in. So grab your daughter or bestie and come in to see what the buzz is all about. Come visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours.
This gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of Wiss Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Men in Sports Arena here in Morristown, New Jersey, where the temperature and weather is currently 60 degrees and raining. Our game time temperature and weather is brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. For our game here tonight between Gil St. Bernard's and Paul the Sixth, which is sponsored by Gil St. Bernard's. Why choose Gil St. Bernard's? More than just a tagline, our mission to provide a balanced, diverse, and secure community that prepares students academically, socially, and ethically for college and a meaningful <laughs> life is a living reflection of who we are and the values that inform our daily interactions. Visit gsbschool.org. And we're going to get set for the puck drop here, start of the second period of play. The Knights control the opening draw. We'll gain the red line and dump it in. Lennox tried to play it behind the net. It got past him. Plumley able to tip it out. Was looking for the head man. Couldn't find him in stride. Knights take over. Porter Clark dumps it in. Lennox stops it behind the net for his D-man. Stick got stuck in the runner. But his teammate is able to bail him out. Aversa moving the puck up ice with speed. Trying to split the D. Clark doing a nice job of biding him off the puck. And comes out in front. Plumley hustles back. Eagles will regroup at center ice. And from Paul the sixth, we're starting to see more of the skillful play from a team that's the tougher physical one. Reversa looking in the slot. Intercepted. Porter Clark again. Hmm. I gotta get Porter Clark going. That backhand passes you looking at, but Porter Clark is a player that can be a prime energizer for this Knights team. Far corner, Clark with the puck again. Has it taken off of his stick. Plumley rushes up ice down the right wing. Gets around the D-man, comes in. Oh, tries to go upstairs and Jansen got a piece of it, went over the net. Great save. Knights come out now on the rush. Scarpata loses the handle on it. Lennox chips it out. You know, Brad, I really like what I've seen from Plumlee. He's got a big physical presence and uh, sharp shot. I mean, obviously, this is high school level hockey, but almost reminds me of the way he skates and moves like a young Jamie Benn a little bit. He's a very powerful player. Yeah, and soft hands to boot, though. Yeah. Plumlee gets it off the half wall, moves up ice. Knights have plenty of people back on D. Plumlee's tripped up. Knights look to chip it out and move up ice. Braden Mills goes D to D. Eagles have also been very good on the possession battle here. Jansen covers up and we'll get a face off. Just over two minutes into this second period. And it'll be to Jansen's left. Michael Ty on the draw. Bill St. Bernard's Mills. needs to get that possession. They need to get positioning in the other zone. Oh, front. off the draw shot is deflected into the corner. Good play at the line by number 27. Mason Jones to keep that puck in. Fired back around into the far corner. Michael Ty now with the puck. Banks it off. Got to move that puck quicker. I would say here, if you're Paul the Six as a coaching staff, you've got to be very happy with what you've been able to accomplish in this game. Absolutely. Knights look to move up ice with speed. All five Eagles back on defense. Good job of back checking. Now they transition onto the rush. It's dumped in by Mills. He'll go for a change. You know, that's such an underrated skill, back checking. Bouncing puck, moved up. 
Mason Jones goes back for the Eagles to get it. Looks to his D-man, Joey DeFabritis. He moves it up to Nick Aversa. He's in on the right wing. Looking for somebody to center it to. Had his D-man cutting, couldn't get it to him. Now just dumps it back in the corner for his teammate. Throws it into the slot, nobody home. Henry Smith, nice job of intercepting that pass in the slot. Eagles regroup at center ice. Plumlee again. Tripped up, no call. Oh, centering feed goes all the way through and it'll come all the way down the ice and the Eagles will have to regroup. Brad Matthews on the floor check. Eagles gain the zone. It's chipped away. Knights turn around. They got a three and two, three on two if they hustle. Whiteley off the left wing. Can't find anybody. Rubbed out nicely. His teammates there to picking him up. Mills moving it around. Gets it out to his winger. He loses the handle. Knights take over. Henry Smith. Oh. Whoa. Nice shot by number seven, Julian Tramontano. And a good save by Jake Lennox. Knights are warming to the task here. It's still physicality has favored the Eagles, but now the sticks are starting to get in the lane. They're playing good, decisive hockey. They're winning battles. They're back checking, good changes in forechecking. They're starting to go back to the basics, and that is the game that Gil St. Bernard's has to play here. And Michael Tile take the draw to Lennox's right. Uh-oh. Plus, I had a neck guard situation, I think. Oh, yeah? Yup. Everyone's checking theirs now, so it's definitely a neck guard thing. And that also impacts because now you got a different center taking the draw. And Julian well, Tramontano will come back out. Yeah, well, it's draw. Tramontano. I mean, that's not that bad of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty good for them last year. Knights unable to control. Eagles come up now, two on two. Knights add another back checker. Oh, good stick lift and a great backhander. Oh, two saves by Jansen. Thank Jansen again. He's saving you in this hockey game. You talk about a primetime player, Sean and Jansen. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm quite familiar with Mr. Jansen. Doesn't help that he's Brett Luther's godson, too. <laughs> <laughs> Slap shot. Looks like Jansen got a little bit of a piece of that. Push it off into the corner. Knights trying to move out, turn the puck over. Eagles dump it right back in and go for a change. Jansen stops it behind the net, but the Eagles player who remained on the ice, Nicholas Lento, able to steal it. Backhander goes high and wide by Aversa. Able to shed off two defenders, gets the puck back. Now out to the point. Just dumped into the corner. Reversa moves it back into the slot. Pass goes all the way through and it'll be all the way down the ice. Knights will go for a change. Soft pass is intercepted. Tramontano moving in, trying to dance through a couple of defenders. Can't get there. Plumley pushes him off the puck, puts it to Aversa. Good job by Smith keeping it in. Eagles unable to break out. Knights looking to get something going here. Get the equalizer. Shot from the point is blocked. Smith pinches in to keep it in. Oh, nice pass in the slot and a great save by Lennox. Lennox flashing that glove, just telegraphing, just as a puck bang. He has been a great force between the pipes for Paul VI. No doubt about that. And he robbed Taylor on that one. Absolutely. Michael Ty in on the draw with Versa. He wins it. Knights unable to keep it in the zone. They'll regroup at center. Oh, and he fans on the pass. But able to recover. Porter Clark fires it around to his winger. Kept in. Just briefly now. Knights look to make something happen. Moving up right wing. Pass in the middle is a little bit behind for Whiteley. Porter Clark regroups. Up the boards to Whiteley. Past him. Tie in on the four check. He steals oh. the puck away. Oh, sharp angle through behind Lennox. 
It was almost like he tried to bank it off his back. He tried to do the Kuznetsov delay, delay, delay move, and it never worked. Oh, Plumley, beautiful move and a great save by Jansen to keep it a one-goal game. Back and forth we go. Back-to-back -back phenomenal stops by these goaltenders. So we're going to look at this one. This is the first one. Okay, this, is, this is the one that we just saw. Phenomenal. The toe drag, unbelievable, and then glove side. Ridiculous stop. Eagles control it down low now. A little too strong back up to the point. Have to come out and regroup. I was talking off air about this to you, but you know, I, I know in the new generation of hockey, I'm younger, but I love a good goaltending game. Oh, who doesn't? I don't care what generation you are. Great goaltending is fun to watch. Nice job of keeping it in by number 91, Joey D for Breedis for the Eagles. Again, he keeps it in. Tramontano takes it away. He's going to go one on one here. He shoots. Oh, blocker saved by Lennox. Tramontano had the corner. Got a little bit of stick on that, too. Lennox up to the task on that shot. That puck's going to be offside. Oh, no. We're calling that onside. No, it's offside. <laughs> He tried to jump in the air so that his feet wouldn't be off sides, but to no avail. Well, the one referee had to, had, I think the back referee had to call it. He was not the one with the best look, but I think even, I think it was, uh, <laughs> for some right. reason just missed there that time. Yeah. That's why you have two guys out there. That's right. Absolutely. Scarpata in. So when, what's the breakup? It's like gotta be the best team on the ice, right? That's right. That's what they. That's what the referees will always tell themselves. Be the uh, best team on the. You got to remember, there's there's no shift changes either. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter how tired you are as a referee. You're out there the whole game. They skate more than anybody. Knights looking to move the puck up. Nice job, chipping it away by the defense, and Plumley takes it. Great toe drag through the legs. Oh, Comes boy. up with speed. Off the left side. Oh, and Jansen got just enough of that to push it off into the corner. Good chance for Plumley. Eagles maintain control. Versa comes out, tries the sharp angle, can't get it to go. And it's going to be frozen along the side of the net by Jansen. And I thought the officiating in this game has been, and the pass game between Madison and Paramus Catholic has been real good. Yeah, I don't think you can really say anything negative. And that's the one great thing you, you said, Sean. That's what you have a teammate, you have a partner out there as an official is to help you out, just like a D-man's helping out a goalie. So even if there was an missed off sides, the other ref was there. Look at Mercado. Whiteley now turns and fires wide. Smith with it now. Did not see the man coming behind him. Puck stays in. Whiteley on goal. Oh, took a weird bounce off of Lennox's stick. Ty back to his defenseman, Porter Clark with the wrist shot, off the pipe! The crowd ooing and eyeing yeah. at that, they can't believe it. Oh, now we got a two on one the other way. Nice job, Porter Clark laying down to make the block on the cross ice pass. Puck out to the slot, and Smith with a good block. Once again, back and forth we go with the offensive chances here for both teams oh. in this second period. High octane hockey here on Morris Sussex Sports. Oh. We got a player down. We got a whistle here with 4.52 to go. Paul the six maintaining a one nothing lead here, but great goaltending, offensive chances left and right. Great back checking, good defense. This is an exciting game here, Peter. Absolutely, and good he is up. That is a wonderful sign for the player he's been in this hockey game. And this is, yeah, you said it. If you bang on, it has been a very physical game. Hits galore. It has been high octane. And you've got some incredible goaltending between two goaltenders who do not play like sophomores, yet are only sophomores. Well, yeah, actually, Lennox, oh, no. uh, Lennox is a senior. We, we had a mistake there oh, in the first right, period. Right. Our, the backup our, is, a, yes. is a sophomore. Our still, apology. though, but, but still, though, to have a backup that is only a sophomore and to rely on him as well, that that means 
you know, you've a lot going good with your hockey team. Absolutely. Knights were offsides. We'll get a draw just outside the Eagles zone here. Tramontano will take the draw. Oh, he's going to make a line change here. This and uh, Michael Ty will come back out for this draw. This is really smart to do for the Knights. It's the equivalent of changing lines behind the play. Eagles on the attack. Centering feed. Nice job by Scarpati lifting the stick there. And now moving out on the attack. Cross ice feed. Uh, we're going to get a whistle for a high stick on the Knights. It'll be a face off in their zone. 4.28 to go here in the second period. Just a reminder, folks, Morris Sussex Sports. We provide great commentary, replays, and all the fanfare for your team's momentous occasions. Book us for senior nights, milestones, and more. Click the link in the description below to request a booking date, then fill out the form to get on our schedule. And viewers, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss when we go live to the channel. We're going live tomorrow. We got hockey all week. Nothing better than hockey season. Knights move up ice. Scarpati. Shot is deflected wide and high. Michael Ty now with it, down low. Back to his defenseman, Henry Smith. He goes D to D over to Porter Clark. Wrist shot deflected. Nice save by Lennox. Pushed into the corner. Once again, Ty with it. Back to Smith again. Dumps it back to Ty. Knights trying to set up in the slot. Moving it back and forth behind the net. Scarpati now. Back to Ty. Puck is loose. Back in the corner. Scarpati tries to go back to his D. Pass wasn't strong enough. Here come the Eagles. Knights have three back. Plays on size. Porter Clark, nice job on defense. Good puck battles and a great save again by Jansen. Right kick save. Credit the interior defense, though, because Paul VI did not allow any entry for us. Oh, Whiteley with a nice steal. Sharp angle shot goes all the way through. Loose in the slot. Dumped in. Eagles have two to the Knights one. And they'll move out. Aversa up ice with speed. Splits the D. Great save by Jansen. Looked like it might have gone off his mask. He's done absolutely everything in this hockey game. Plumley from the slot. Oh, it's over the net. Knights able to clear the zone. Eagles regain control. Cut into the center. Moving it up ice now. Dumps it in. And clear it out. By number 10, Brendan Binder. Number eight. Moves it up. The Eagles gain the zone. Move it in deep. Mason Jones battling. Regains control. Sharp angle shot goes wide. Kept in by the Eagles point man. Aversa now. Takes a big hit behind the net. That's now that is going to establish a presence in this game. We're going to have a penalty, though, it looks like, on Binder here. I believe it's a cross-check call. He's not happy with that at all. And it is a cross-check on number 10, Brendan Binder. And the Eagles will go on the power play looking to expand on a one nothing lead. Big moment in this game, Peter. Huge moment because of how there was a gigantic moment against Park Regional last night where they had their... Titanic kill. We've got to figure out a way to do it again here. Eagles win the draw. Shot. Yeah. Score! Well, there I, you go. Right off the faceoff to start this power play. I believe that was 18 Nicholas Lento. Let me confirm that. Yes, it was. Well, that knocks the air out of the sails for the Knights. This puck just barnstorms its way, stick side, right over the goaltender, and now 2-0 in favor of the Eagles. Ty wins the draw back to Clark. Chips it up a little bit past Scarpati. Eagles clear, back to Clark. 
and he will dump it deep. In on goal on Lennox, he pushes it to the side for his D-man. Smith now moves it back up. Number nine, Zach Blinkoff. The Paul goal scored at 14. Scarpati now with the puck. Oh, he does some sweet dance moves. Sharp angle shot is deflected and it goes into the netting above the glass. We'll get a face off. The Lennox is right. Yeah, just hopped off the glass there. Not the bounce you would want. 119 to go here in the second period. 2 0 lead for the Eagles. Michael Ty on the draw, loses it. Eagles come out two on two, lose control of the puck. Porter Clark. Now Scarpati has it. He's looking for somebody to pass to, goes off the glass, not out. Eagles keep. Smith does a nice job. Eagles able to keep, though. 77, Brendan Dugan with a nice play to keep it. Smith now wheels it around. His winger moves it up and out. Eagles dump it in. Clark has the puck, goes around his net, being harassed by number 18, Nicholas Lento, who just had that goal. The Eagles regain control. And they'll chip it in. Number 15, Michael Ty moves up the right side. He's got numbers. Shot is high and goes straight into the netting. I think he's going to want that one back. He had number nine, Zach Blinkoff, trailing the play there. Would have been set up perfectly for a one-timer. I think he thought he could pick the corner there. If you can, that's fine. It's kind of like one of those things where if you do it, if you can do it and you do it, you feel great. If you can do it and you miss it, you just don't feel good at all. Tramontano in on the draw with number 14, Matthew Shaw. It's won by Tremontano, but the Eagles get to it first. Battle along the wall in the neutral zone. Eagles finally gain control, and that's going to do it for the second period. At the end of two, Paul the Sixth Eagles two, Gill St. Bernard's Knights nothing. We're live here on Morris Sussex Sports at Menon Sports Arena. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We'll be back in just a few minutes. All of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Majestic Flowers and Gifts, your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. 
Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Kitchen Art Cabinetry Showroom in Chester is your one-stop shop for designing and remodeling your home's kitchen, and we are now offering an expanded selection of appliances. Come view all the exciting design possibilities displayed at our 5,000 square foot showroom located near ShopRite. See our selection of appliances, cabinets, countertops, flooring, hardware, and more. Financing is available. Our experienced team will help bring your vision to life in our design center. Call Kitchen Art Cabinetry for a free estimate and consultation. Room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Welcome back, fans. Welcome to more, more Sussex Sports live broadcast here from Menon Sports Arena, where it's currently 60 degrees and raining. Our game time temperature is brought to you by ICS. Keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold, go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. And also, we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's game, Gil St. Bernard's. Why choose Gil St. Bernard's? More than just the tagline, our mission to provide a balanced, diverse, and secure community that prepares students academically, socially, and ethically for college and a meaningful life is a living reflection of who we are and the values that inform our daily interactions. Visit gsbschool.org. Once again, thank you for joining us here on Morris Sussex Sports. Our weekly coverage of high school sports reaches upwards of 20 to 30 broadcasts and gains up to 4 million views a week to a wide audience. We stream big playoff games, county championships, as well as significant matchups and rivalries in the area. Stay up to date by subscribing to our channel and socials for more local sports content. Visit our website at morrissussexsports.com for additional team write-ups and other features. And we're about to get set for the start of our third period here with the Paul the Sixth Eagles leading 2-0 over Gil St. Bernard's Knights. Peter, what did you see in that second period? Well, what I saw was a team in Gil St. Bernard's that has had a little bit of some success in the period, but were not able to cash in. And then the minute they committed a penalty, it went to the back of their net. They've just not had the opportunities, and the opportunities they've had have just been stymied by the good goaltending of Paul the Sixth. And here we go with the start of the third period. Knight's able to dump it into the zone. The Eagles move it up to Plumlee on the wing. He chips it off. And Aversa carries it. Stays on sides. Up the right wing boards. Looking for somebody in the middle. Puck is loose. And Scarpati able to push it up for the Knights. He's hassled by Aversa. And the Knights are able to dump it in and go for a change. Ty, though, first one to the puck behind the net. Strong on the puck there, fighting. Good hit along the wall. Finds Whiteley in front. Pushes it back to Porter Clark. Wrist shot high off the glass. Whiteley gets the rebound in the corner. Tries to protect the puck. It's taken away from him. Versa now. Just trying to protect it. Now he's got room to skate. Up for Plumlee. He didn't see the pass. It was behind him, and Clark dumps it in. Eagles regroup. Up the wall, but nobody home. Knights looking to get on the board here. Make it a one-goal game. Uh, Clark's chip pass. Oh, it's kept in nicely by, by Tramontano. What a skate. Oh, and he scores! Huge goal for the Knights by Julian Tramontano. Mammoth goal. That's a mammoth goal for Gil St. Bernard's because of the way of the fact that Paul VI can't get it out. Look, there's a spinorama play. Turnover. Still can't get it out. And then a seeing eye shot of beauty. That is a goal to get you back in a hockey game there. Just under a minute and a half into play here in the third period. The lead is cut in half. Knight's moving up now. Tramontano again. Loses the handle, goes into the corner. Loses control. 
Lento now loses it to Whiteley. Oh, could be a 2 on one or a 2 on oh. Shot is saved by Jansen. That's and now going back. And that's why you're so happy to have a goaltender like Jansen. But Brad, you understand how big that is to score a goal like that in that point of a hockey game? Oh, early in the third period, absolutely. It was massive. Puck battle in the far corner. Nobody seems to want to move it. Tramontano now cleans it out. It's picked off. Back to the D. Shot is deflected, and Jansen just calmly slides out and gloves it for a whistle. Seems like Tramontano was uh, saving some fuel and now is expending whatever he's got left here in this third period because that spark was not there the first two frames. But, I mean, you can, you can expect it, you're, you know, as a team that played literally 24 hours ago. How do you expend, you know, how do you expend your energy? Do you conserve it a little bit? Do you try to even it out? On Tramontano, we, it's been, I think that's been made quite obvious what he was doing. Looks that way, doesn't it, Sean? Yeah. He's all of a sudden come alive here in this third frame. And also the way that he shot the puck and the reaction, the emotion of his hockey team. Scarpati now off the right wing, cuts oh. into the center. Backhand is deflected. Couldn't get it on goal. Ty now with it. He's looking for Scarpati in the slot. Oh, had him, but it slid off his stick. Ty tried to steal it back. He couldn't. Here comes a verse, and now he's got Plumlee wide. Pass through the slot. Now we'll go back the other way. Up and down hockey. Here we go. Scarpati being hassled, fighting hard to get there. He's lucky he didn't get called for a trip there. Yeah, it looked like Ty uh, thought there was a penalty coming. He was he trying to slow down. Yeah, I think he was trying to draw that. Now Whiteley in there, and Ty fighting for the puck. Whiteley's got it. He looks wide side of the rink. Smith had it taken away. That goal has sparked Gill. There is no doubt about it. They seem to be skating a little bit harder, a little bit faster. Ty, back to Clark. Ty goes for a change. Clark over to Smith. Smith's pass is intercepted. Able to chip it out. Up the right wing boards. Eagles control. Pass up the middle. It's going to be an icing. And we'll have a faceoff down by Lennox. Just over 10 minutes to play in a two to one hockey game. Important face off here, so vital with 10.39 to go in regulation time here. You gotta get clean draws, pin backs, and you gotta hold it at the point. In such a tight game like this, every shot matters in every single way. Binder and Sanford on the points. Eagles win the draw though. Sanford had a great game last night against Park Regional, goal and assist. Sanford dumps it in. Whiteley on the forecheck. Hassling Mason Jones. Mason Jones protecting the puck nicely, but it's taken by Tramontano. Tramontano circles around looking for somebody to pass to. Out to the point. Bender deflected. Oh, just wide. Nice deflection by Whiteley. They're rebound hunting here, Brad. They really want to get those rebounds and cash them in. Yep. Stolen again by Whiteley. Can't maintain control. Stays on the forecheck. Uh, Plumley's pass. Deflected. Kept in the zone. Eagles finally able to get out. And try and get something going here. Knights have controlled much of the play the last couple of minutes. Eagles looking to regain a two-goal lead. Puck deflected off the half wall. Right to another Eagle. All the way out to the point. Fabritas just dumps it in. Sanford, good steal, but his man wasn't home along the wing. Pass in the slot, Plumley couldn't handle it. Looks like some tired legs out there on this shift. Bender just clears it up ice, allows his forwards to change. Now dumps it back in deep. <clears throat> now Bender will go in on the four check at the end of his shift. Ty and Clark. Clark, a little trouble. Puck was in his skates. Puck.
Puck just being batted around. We got a broken stick out there. Porter Clark. Oh, oh. big hit by Clark. Nice. Wallop of a hit. Yep, Clark with the big hit, and then number 27, Boy, Mason yo. Jones, came in to hit him when he did not have control of the puck. So he's going to go to the box for interference. It was funny, Clark, Clark realized his stick had broken, so he kind of just dropped and threw it out of the way. He saw the man coming at him, and he just laid a big hit. And I believe we're going to get a misconduct as well on uh, number 27, Mason Jones. That's why you see another... One of his teammates in there looks like it will serve the two minutes. I would not be surprised if the Knights called a timeout here. This is a wonderful opportunity if you're a Gil St. Bernard's fan, a Bernard's fan, excuse me, uh, because you could be able to score a big goal with two men down. For two men down for the Eagles. Do we see who the other player is? Yeah, they're, uh, they're not two men down, Peter. Uh, it looks like Mason Jones was given uh, two and ten. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's sitting in there for the 10, and so somebody else has to serve the two for him. Draws one back by Aversa. Eagles control, and they try and clear. And they do off of Clark, who's got a new stick now. He calls Saucer pass to Tramontano. Number 27. Good forecheck by Aversa. Not letting the Knights move up ice and set up this power play. Nice job of forechecking by number 20, Aversa. Tramontano now has speed, moves up ice. In the zone, loses the handle, but it could go right on goal. Lennox will cover it. That's actually not a bad thing right there. No, keeps the puck in the zone. Also, you were wondering, it's number nine for the Eagles. That's in the penalty box, serving the minor. Is he serving the minor, or did he just get a 10-minute misconduct himself? <laughs> he just threw a stick in the bottom of the minor. I would think it's probably the latter. Right off the draw. Oh, it's blocked on the attempt by Scarpati. And the puck goes off the referee, so it won't be an icing here. Oh, no. Clark loses the puck. Aversa is doing a fantastic job of forechecking on this penalty kill. Eagles able to bring the puck back. Scarpati now trying to stay on sides. Can't. Eagles get the puck back. They've killed over half of this power play so far. And they'll send it the length of the ice. 50 seconds remain in the power play. Knights looking for the equalizer. Michael Ty now starts to move up ice through the neutral zone. Gains the offensive zone. Drops it back. Whiteley back to Ty. And ends up bouncing off his stick, and Lennox will freeze it for a faceoff. 7.18 to go in the third. 34 seconds remaining in the minor to Mason Jones. <clears throat> Big faceoff here. And, I mean, the special teams credit the penalty kill for Paul VI, the way that they forechecked. And they've won some big draws and another one right here. Now the Knights regain control. Tramontano, ooh, right in front. Good play. Eagles able to clear. Porter Clark being harassed by Nick Lento on the four check here, on the penalty kill. And Lento able to steal the puck. Nothing doing. That's going to do a great penalty kill by Paul the Six there, Peter. Very aggressive kill by the Eagles. They've just come up, hit bodies, physically put sticks in the lane, and just played well. Eagles now regain control. Lento goes cross ice. Puck battle along the wall in front of the Eagles bench. Now taken by Scarpati. He's got Clark. Clark up the right side. Protects the puck. Tries to chip it on the backhand. It looked like it went off Lennox and up and over the net. Uh, he went forehand. I think he was trying to go backhand. Oh, and here comes a potential breakaway. But good hustle on the back check by Scarpati and Jansen able to just block her it away into the stands with six minutes to play and a 2-1 lead for the Eagles. Man, oh, man, back and forth. The break, Scarpati, forehand, backhand, forehand, and then he tried to go to his backhand and couldn't lift the stick. And on the other side, a rush just gets negated with the good team defense by Paul the Sixth. 
And you're still looking at 2-1. Off the draw, the Eagles maintain possession. Dump it in around. Binder looking to move it up. Unable to. And it's stolen. Oh, Versa in front. Great save by Jansen. Wait a Unbelievable job to stay with him. Plumley now on the half wall. Tries to cut it in. Tramontano harassing him. Plumley maintains possession. Shot goes wide off the deflection. Defabritis now puts it towards the net. Bounces into the corner. Smith, got two men four checking on him, loses control. Good puck battle, Smith not giving up. Tramontano now, Plumley steals that pass. Plumley dumps it down low to his man. Aversa now, just gonna chip it past. Out in front, nobody home for the Eagles. Eagles now back in their own zone. Looked like a slow change for Gil St. Bernard's. Plumley now trying to set up. Has his man down low, right back into the slot of Versus, slides down. Couldn't get a lot on the shot, and Jansen with another save. But they're getting zone time. Paul the sixth is getting zone time. And that's the thing is that you're getting a lot out of your goaltender for the Knights, but nowhere to go with the puck. And they're trying to hold on, hold on here, Continue to hit. Yeah, Gil St. Bernard's needs to get that puck out. I tell you what, I think it was that penalty kill really brought the Eagles back to life here. They've controlled the play since. <clears throat> but now here come the Knights up ice. Cross ice pass, nobody home. Eagles turn it up there. Their way into the offensive zone. Shot, save, Jansen. Remember, with the new rules here in the MCCSIHL and the entire GSIAA, you will have overtime, four and four overtime. If we get there, right now it's a one goal game. There was only one overtime game. It was between two parochial schools, a 5-4 win, the Bergen Catholic Crusaders over Pope John. We have not had an overtime game in regular season on Morris Sussex yet. Well, I'm sure the Gil St. Bernard's fans are hoping for a new one. Hoping for the first one of the season right here on Morris Sussex. Puck is not played with a high stick. Sanford moves it up and out. <clears throat> no ice, no ice on the play. Eagles will go back behind their own net. Circle back. Puck is stolen by Ty. Couldn't find a man to pass to. He's got Clark up at the point. Clark comes in, top of the circle. Snapshot. No traffic in front, easy save for Lennox with the glove. Under four minutes to go now. Thought he had the velocity on that shot to just beat him short side. Unable to, not without anybody in front that was seen by Lennox the whole way. And Tramontano will come out and take this draw. And he goes right towards the net with a backhander and Lennox made the save. Puck is still loose. Eagles fire it up, Porter Clark now. Just keeps it in. Oh, referee's going to say he brought it outside the blue line off sides. I don't know. That was really close, but referees can see it a lot better than we can, so I'll trust that. Let's take a look. Yeah, Tramontano right off the draw just blew right past That's his puck opposition. And now yeah, just lined a little off. Eagles chip it in. Under 3.30 to play now. Knights got to get something going here if they want to tie it up. Plumley circles back. Going to gain the red line and dump it in. I would wait a little longer on circumstance and opportunity until you start thinking of calling your goaltender. Brad Matthews tried to get it out and couldn't for the Knights. Sanford now. Tramitano looking for the home run pass. Unable to get it out of the zone. Oh, and there's a one-timer, and it's off the side of the net. And a wraparound attempt. Couldn't get enough on it. And it looks like the Eagles score. Yes, they do. The wraparound initially, and then it was just forked through, and that is a gut-punching goal. If you are a Knights fan, huge for the Eagles. I mean, look at that again. Oh, they're going to take a look. This puck just kind of gets punched to that side and then waits up on that wraparound attempt. It Versa. just gets through the paraphernalia. Yeah, Versa on the goal. 
He's what had a, a really good third period. What a play by Versa. Yeah, that's suffocating for the Eagles. That is exactly what yeah. you want. And um, I don't know how funny on a Sunday night watching high school hockey and the St. Paul Eagles, but Sean, your Philadelphia Eagles are currently on the tele television waves right now as well. Well, I think they are, yeah. I think so. Not not checking it out. I think um, somebody got uh, enforced a uh, penalty misconduct here as well, I think, from the Gil St. Bernard side. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. But the Eagles of Paul Sixth are playing great hockey. Porter Clark shot is pushed aside by Lennox. Now with little time to spare, Gil St. Bernard, Bernard, excuse me, trying to get a quick one. Then maybe pull the goalie and tie it up. Oh, nice idea. Clark winds up. Oh, good block on Great the shot. Block. I think that was Nick Lento on the block. Clark able to keep it in. No quit in either team right here. Clark now trying to gain the zone. Didn't have room. He'll just dump it in. Lennox moves it to the side. Eagles just going back and forth, killing time. Knights trying to get it off the half wall. Smith pinches in, able to keep it in. Ty has the puck behind the net. Lost control. Up the wall, Smith with the keep. Goalie's out now. Extra attacker on the ice for the Knights. Puck is fired down the ice. It's going to be an icing call here. 133 left in the third period. We'll have a face-off to Lennox's left. Right now you call a timeout. Yeah, I think uh, I'd agree with you on that I, one. I, this is where get your team grouped up, get say, let's hey, let's win a face-off here, play clean hockey. What do we got to do? And that's exactly, and that's exactly what they're what skating we have. over. Yep. Yep. And just a reminder, folks, here on Morris Sussex Sports, we got the playback preview. The commentary continues after the game. If you want to catch some of the highlights from tonight's game or the last week of Morris Sussex Sports broadcast, tune in to Playback Preview Thursdays at 4. The show features top teams and athletes as well as upcoming previews of games to watch out for in the week ahead right here on Morris Sussex Sports. And always remember to visit us on morrissussexsports.com as well as all of our social media accounts. Absolutely. Here's truly as a co-host on that show. Christian Copen, Aiden Lamont. We talk about basketball, hockey, everything going on, and look out for the uh, look out for the website as well. That website, of course, which I am a contributing uh, journalist. Also, I write a bunch of hockey articles as well as other sports, and I'm always writing the top seven games of the week starting this week. What this week will be? There's a lot of big games going on: Knowles Hills and KJS, to name a few. There's a, there's a couple of uh, really big ones. And uh, the, the puck on post game, the nightly show on Fridays that I also host where we talk all about high school New Jersey hockey. So lots to look for here on Morris Sussex Sports. And don't forget to check out our social media pages for our player of the game, which we're going to have today after this game, Peter, I'm sure. Yep. Open our road, Mazda, Open road Morristown. Mazda, Morristown. Yep. It's going to be really, really fun. And here we go, a minute and 33 left. Knights he control the draw, back to Sanford. Down to Scarpati. Scarpati has some trouble along the half wall and he loses the handle. They throw, Eagles throw it down the ice just wider than that. It'll be an icing and another face off. Referees clarified, Brad, there was an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So things are getting a little out of hand here and the referees are doing a good job of policing. It's a late Sunday night, and you know what? Good for them. Ty off the draw, gets one on goal, pushed aside by Lennox. Whiteley gets it to Scarpati. Out to Porter Clark at the point. He shoots, it's deflected on net. It's loose. Knight's trying to control, but nobody was home in the slot there. Last minute of the play in the third period. Eagles just looking to clear the zone here with a two-goal lead. Back to Sanford. He shoots. Oh, and a good save by Lennox, even though he was screened in front. 
not only was he screened, but they were digging away for rebounds. That was a fantastic save by him. Lennox definitely going to be a candidate for that player of the game we were talking about. But, uh, yo, Sean, we got hockey all week here. It's such a wonderful second home here at Menon Arena. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Luckily, I'll be able to finally get uh, <laughs> get some things back in uh, working order, at least on my side of things. <laughs> now that uh, I'm actually able to put some stuff in some monitors and everything of that nature. Well, you've done a fantastic job, Sean. We'll put the we'll, we'll even get the uh, the bench cams back. Um, the GoPros will be. That's going to be an oh, empty oh, net goal. Go. Should just about wrap things up here. That was number 20, Nick Aversa, who has had a great Second game goal. and specifically an amazing third period for the Eagles tonight. He might be a candidate as well. There's a lot. There's a he's lot. Two of and one. I think he's got two goals and an assist, at least. Three point night. Yeah, there's a lot of guys there. Tramontano off the draw. It's going to be offsides. Well, everything. Everything is over, almost over now. So I think this we can say this has been a fantastic win for Paul the Sixth. Absolutely, coming all the way up here tonight, playing in a rink they're probably not too familiar with. Off a team just came off a big win. Clark now dances around backhander. Not sure if Lennox got a piece of that. Eagles are able to clear, and that's going to do it. The final score here tonight: Paul the Sixth Eagles four. Gil St. Bernard's Knights won. And absolutely, and we have our open road Mazda player, uh, Mazda of Morristown player of the game, and that is Jake Lennox, the goaltender. Yes, the three-point night was fantastic, but you got to talk about goaltending in the game the way it has gone, and Lennox wins the battle of goaltending. What a performance and what a first opening week, gentlemen, for the hockey season at Menon Arena. <laughs> Absolutely, and I gotta say it was a pleasure working with you gentlemen tonight on both broadcasts. I'd like to thank both of you, Peter Five Foot, on camera and color, and Sean as well on color and producing today. Uh, again, this is Morris Sussex Sports. We thank you for joining us on tonight's live broadcast. Remember to check us out online and on our social media sites. Again, have a great night, and thank you very much. Oh, we have a man breaking. He's looking for Plumley. Plumley's open. He shoots. He scores! Ooh, twisted wrister up over the blocker, Jansen. And it's a one nothing Eagles lead. That, that he has. I, I got you know majority of the play has been in front of him this first period. Eagles control the draw. Back to the point. Come back in. Oh, great centering feed. Oh, and a beautiful kick save by Jansen. Save and a view. He's looking to get something going here. Hit the equalizer. Chopper points block. Smith pitches in, keep it in. Oh, nice pass in the slot and a great save by Lennox. Fine oh. Lennox. It was almost like he tried to bank it off his back. He tried to do the Kuznets off delay, delay, delay move, and it never worked. Oh, Plumley, beautiful move and a great save. By Jansen to keep it a one goal game. Back and forth we go. Eagles win the draw. Shot. Score! Oh, there you go. Right off the face off to start this power play. I believe that was 18 Nicholas Lento. Kept in nicely by Tramontano. Oh, and he scores! Huge goal for the Knights by Julian Tramontano. Mammoth goal. That's a mammoth goal for Gil St. Bernard's because of. He goes right towards the net with a backhander, and Lennox made the save. Puck is still loose. Eagles fire it up, quarter clock now. Just keeps it in. Oh, referee's going to save. He brought it outside the blue line, offside. I don't know, that was really close. Referee's put it 
out of the zone. Oh, and there's a one-timer. It's off the side of the net. And a wraparound attempt. Couldn't get enough on it. And it looks like the Eagles score. Yes, they do. The wraparound initially. And then it was just forked through. And that is a gut-punching goal. If you're...